This is a quick video just to show you what the problems could be if your Samsung Freak Freezer suddenly stops working. Mine, um, th this Samsung Freak Freezer, and um, the model posted in the description, just suddenly stopped working, no power, no lights, no anything. And I thought, right, okay, and what I'll do is I'll just go and have a quick look at the PCB board and just see if there was something that was, that was wrong with it. And what I found out was looking at the boards that it's, it's not just a simple or easy thing to, to do. What you had to do, as you can just see here, I'm just, just taking off these um, the, the, the little screws here. This um, particular one just has a couple of um, screws holding it in, two at the back here. Just take off there. And then just one one here at the front. Now speaking to a number of different people, I found out that it's right, okay, it's the main PCB board that you need to look at. It's not it's unlikely gonna be anything else. Um, and I looked at this and I thought, right, okay, main PCB board. That's what it's called um, on Samsung's part list. But this is also, the smaller one here is the main PCB board. And it doesn't look like anything in particular. It talks about being an ice maker. So you just think that's not gonna be what the problem is. I took out each individual board and looked at here where if, if one of these guys um, had gone it would maybe pop at the top or you'd see a darkened area around the base or on the flip side of the board you'd see a problem looking checked all these checked all these little resistors checked the um, on the back of these relays here to see whether there was any problem I checked these here to see whether or not there was any any um, a connection problem reseated them all looked at all this big main board nothing couldn't see anything looked at this sub inverter board here checked the power did the same things checked that little fuse down there for continuity checked all these different parts looking at it nothing this one here this was the problem in, in my case fuse showed continuity couldn't see any problem with any of the um, solder joints the resistors anything nothing wrong with it whatsoever but this was the problem. I ended up having to get Samsung um, repair out to find this issue because I just couldn't see anything and it's not something that any anyone could really find. Um, you would just be guessing because there's no obvious um, answer to this one. But had me for about two weeks trying to work out what it was. One thing I would say with regards to your fridge freezer, this one is just over um, two years old and it um two years and one month that's when the um the the guarantee ran the way two ran out in two years but it was one month over so a good thing is is to go back to samsung and say look come on can you help me out here don't be nasty don't say how rubbish they are don't say any of these things just ask them for a bit of help say look it's just over two years old but mine it was that bold it was just that board and there was no way of, of finding out. The Samsung repairman said that um, it's always that board, always. He goes, he's never been to a repair where it wasn't that board with this particular, these particular symptom, symptoms. So if you've got one where you just can't find out what, what it is, you, can't, you don't understand why this has suddenly gone wrong. If you're like me and you've got a little bit of technical know-how and you think I can have a look at it and I'll check it with a multimeter or just go and check the basic things. Now, sometimes it can be where you've, you, your fuse has gone and but after all those kind of little fit, normal kind of checks that you would, you would do on fridges just to make sure that you, it wasn't those, this, this would be the next one where if you had no power, no lights, and just no response from the from the display board uh, uh, um, the display on the front of the fridge freezer this would be it searched everywhere looked on forums tried to find anything that would say this was the problem or any problem with the samsung, samsung fridge freezer if you looked 
um, on YouTube you'll see people who are asking you to pay for um, videos to have a look at seven dollars fifty a time to look at um, one particular video or 39.99 for, for for a year don't waste your time with those if it's for your samsung fridge because they're not going to help you they're not going to show you the results that you want or help you in any way whatsoever with this fault all they're going to do is keep pointing you towards those the main board assembly which is the big one and the sub inverter never that small little box um, so hopefully this will help someone. Thank you.